Edgy humor and satire really died on YouTube, didn't it? Oh, did it really? You see, when YouTubers get into controversy, most get cancelled. And most don't for some reason. I actually don't even know why. However, that's beside the point. There's one particular YouTuber who particularly stands out. <laughs> Long Beach Griffey, a funny skit YouTuber with over 3 million subscribers. However, he is very edgy. Man, I'm so tired of these black. With all the edgy dark humor satire skits covering sensitive topics like school shooting, gay jokes, feminism, slavery, mental health and all sorts this man is still able to thrive on social media without getting cancelled and it seems that he's not going to slow down anytime soon people try to cancel him in many ways it still never worked <laughs> so the question is why is this man immune to cancel culture well in this video we're going to answer that today but to fully understand we need to go back to where it all started innit? Grivy started making skits on Instagram, then moved to YouTube in June 2017, with no time uploading his first video, when girls see a cute dog. Dog is so cute! This is where all the madness started, didn't it? Then Grivy kept uploading them more until he uploaded his first controversial video, I must say, when they found out that one friend might be gay, which went viral, gaining a whopping 2.4 million views. Say, pics get the money by any means, like I'm out here sucking. Oh, oh, hold on. What? Hold on. Don't Any normal human being will double down on a viral video. And so that's exactly what he did. When the school shooter is your math tutor, feminism in 2017, and all sorts of satire videos. This brother was on a roll. But the one video that pushed the edgy boundaries beyond measure when he turned in a suicide note instead of an essay. If we're going to write essays like this, then you should kill yourself. Was a classic, I must say so myself. And that video is unironically his second most popular video on his entire channel. Obviously, the reactions with that type of content should be mostly negative, right? Because he's joking about suicide, feminism, and LGBT people, right? Wrong. People love the content he was making. Even the people who went through mental health or were gay or were whatever he was making content about find the video hilarious. I genuinely couldn't even find any hate comments on the content he was making. Knowing that people wouldn't get offended and they're just trying to have a laugh and some entertainment when watching his videos. This obviously gave Long Beach Griffey the green flag to continue this edgy style type of content. Cause it's just literal satire why not it's just a laugh and besides even if he got so much hate on his satire videos long beach Griff will still make these type of videos some way somehow because he simply doesn't care you can't cancel a man who really doesn't care only thing that can stop this man is perm ban to be honest and people are seeing that he doesn't care on the video he makes because it's just satire and it's not meant to be taken seriously i mean it's just like he wants to get counseled but people just can't do it 2017 2018, 2019, 2020, 2021. If we kept doing these skits and everyone was loving it. Yeah! But the streak doesn't last that long. If Long Beach Griffey makes these type of content, it's only a matter of time that he gets tested with hot, hot water. Now we all know Griffey makes skits and jokes about the LGBT community and he makes jokes of him being gay. Well, people tried to cancel him for Quay baiting. Here's his response to it. Like malice. Like I'm not trying to be malicious out here. Like I just like to make. I like to have fun. Like I like to joke. Like it's fun joking. It's fun joking about being gay. Not in Aiden's case, because Aiden not gay. He's a capper. Exactly. And the intent. It's about the intent, right? Mm. It's about the intent. It's not what. It's not about what you. In my eyes, he's just making jokes. It should be obvious that Long Beach Griffey isn't actually gay. But it's another dumb attempt to try to cancel Long Beach, which ultimately failed big time. Around August 2021, a manga YouTuber named Heavenly Controller got himself in some drama. We should also know that Heavenly is also Long Beach Griffey's friend. Heavenly has been accused of sexual assault allegedly by an OnlyFans content creator. It's not confirmed that Heavenly did this crime. As a result, Heavenly was getting a lot of backlash because of this. And you might be asking, how the F is Long Beach Griffey get involved with this drama? Well, let me explain. Griffey being Griffey, he tried to defend his friend by making a skit on the drama how feminists claim for so. And I do shit. Did, yes, he did. Yeah, yeah, yes, you did. I never verbally articulated that to him, but there were clear indications that I was uncomfortable. What? And by giving the context of the situation, this skit was received quite unfavorably by many. Major examples Afro Samju didn't respect him, and he got banned from DreamCon by RDC World. Long Beach Griffey would later delete that video and apologize. Creators, I let a lot of my friends down. That's why I want to, I want to issue an apology to 
all of my friends in the creator space because I put them in a position that a lot of them didn't want to do, which is cut ties. Well, I guess the man immune to cancel culture has fallen. Or did he? His fans were defending him and it was saying that he was just defending his friend. A lot of Heavenly and Long Beach Griffey fans were getting defense and everyone were backing them. Do you get what I mean? Despite that Long Beach Griffey didn't want to risk the punishment of censorship or didn't want to risk his channel because his channel has gotten strikes. Two strikes and one strike and it's just over. So he didn't want to risk his channel. So what did he decide to do? Private all his videos and then maybe make an OnlyFans account because you know, F censorship. It's Long Beach Griffey. Bro is known for satire. And he's not trying to stop because of this censorship and all this cancellation, all these snowflakes. Like, that's what you, I mean, I would do that, man. Despite all of this, even from that incident, his channel spiked in popularity, gaining 33 million views in August alone. The month when the drama even started. That's quite ironic, isn't it? Where his channel spiked in popularity because of the drama, pirating all his videos and reinstating his video. He just took a break, made sure everyone was calm, and then he did what he was always known to do. He's known for risking cancellation and risking permanent just to entertain his fans. And his supporters absolutely love it. He just can't be stopped. His fans will always defend him. And yeah, you can't stop a guy who's known for satire so in other words you can't really defeat a man who number one doesn't care number two has a reputation of risking his channel uploading satire content and number three has a strong fan base that will always defend him and get behind his back his videos get good and positive feedback in which only motivates him to do more only thing that can stop him is youtube permanent as i said before and that my friend is why long beach griffey is the man immune to cancel culture this is what makes him truly uncomfortable shout out jabroni this is <laughs> uh, uh shout out jabroni long beach griffey here's your crown my guy yes sir